rather wet morning. We've uh, we left Sussex at about half past five this morning and it's been a long drive all the way to Giggrin Farm in South Wales. But we've come to photograph the red kites and this is the entrance to Giggrin Farm. We've uh, arrived about half an hour early so we're just going to wait for a bit. It opens at half past twelve. Looking forward to it. Giggrin Farm has long been on my wish list and on the 8th of April we finally made it happen. Giggrin Farm is actually a working farm and uh, lambing season is in full flow but there's also these wonderful pair of donkeys to go and visit. Sadly, the weather wasn't being particularly kind to us for this visit, but the setting made up for it. Absolutely wonderful uh, surroundings. Well, this is on our way down to the hides. I've already seen some of the red kites wheeling up in the air. Fortunately, the rain has stopped at the moment, but we're still quite early going. We've just come to have a reconnoiter before we go and have a coffee and a cake. And we're We're booked into the Tower Hyde, which uh, I think is uh, slightly higher than the others, but it's one of the ones uh, specifically for photographers. So this is the Tower Hyde we will be in. I think the Tower Hyde was well placed and uh, it certainly afforded an excellent view. And as these shots show, there were other hides all around us, including one other a fairly high one. As we waited for the main event to start we could see some of the kites gathering in the distant trees and these little lambs gambling up the hill. With the kites beginning to gather overhead it gave us a good opportunity just to get our eye in and practice uh, what we were going to do and here comes the main event. Once the feeding started, it was difficult to know where to point the camera. There were so many birds flying around and it was a little bit almost potluck. After a while, I began to just concentrate on one or two birds and try to follow them round. But I have to say, it wasn't that easy. Now, I was using a Nikon Z9 with the 180 to 600 lens and this camera I was shooting video at 120 frames per second. Now with the video footage actually being produced here at 24 frames per second, this gave me a lot of opportunity to uh, slow motion the birds in flight. This clip was done at 40% of full speed. For this second clip, I've, spent, I've, I've changed the uh, slow motion speed to just 20% of full speed, so you can really see how smooth it is. I was using the Nikon's 10-bit RAW uh, video recording capability, as I say, at 120 frames per second, and this is what the footage looks like at standard speed. So as you will have seen, I've took some video footage, but really I wanted to concentrate on taking still images. Um, now with the Nikon, uh, the Z9, I set the camera to shoot at 20 frames per second. And I went for shutter priority uh, with a speed of either one three thousand two hundredth of a second or one four thousandth of a second. And I let the camera look after the ISO and the aperture, but it was pretty well wide open for most shots. The 
Nikon Z180 to 600 was a very uh, useful lens for this uh, particular job. And I must say, most of the time I didn't actually go out to the full 600. And, um, but of course, this has a variable aperture, so I just let the camera work out what it was going to do. Now, of course, apart from all the red kites that were flying around, we'd also been told to, uh, to look out for a very special kite. This is a leucistic what red kite, which effectively is almost an albino. It's a white uh, version. Apparently, there are only about 10 to 12 of these in the world. So we were very lucky when the bird turned up shortly after I took this shot and you'll now see a sequence of shots of the leucistic red kite. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video. It, we found it a really excellent uh, facility and really enjoyed our visit. The action lasted for about 30 minutes from when uh, the owner started to scatter the food and it gave us some great opportunities. I took around 3,000 photographs during the course of this half an hour. And uh, at one point though, we just put the camera down to watch these wonderful birds in action. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.